It is another doubleheader Saturday here from the Hutzel Athletic Center. This time, the St. Francis Cougars welcome in the number four team in NAIA, the India Wesleyan Wildcats. We thank you so much for joining us here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Excited to be here for this one as we have two outstanding squads set to battle here at the Hutzel Athletic Center. Indiana Wesley, and they come into this one at 21 and 2 on this season. They are 12 and 1 in a crossroads league play under seventh year head coach in Ethan Watley. He is 155 and 48 in his seven years at this school. The 2023 Crossroads League Coach of the Year doing outstanding things here with his squad this season. Team stats for the Indiana Wesley and Wildcats 81 points per game. That is a 22-point differential margin between opponents. Uh, 12 turnovers per game, 13 steals per game, and a 35 rebounds per game. Here for Indiana Wesleyan, leading the way here for the Wildcats this season is the junior number 32, and Lily Frazier. She is the 2022-23 NAIA All-American second team player here for head coach Ethan Wally and this Indiana Wesley and squad right behind her is Jada Nutley. She is a junior who is a 2022-23 NAIA honorable mention. She was a first Crossroads League team player, 11 and a half points per game on this season here for her. Their last setting, they picked up an 81-44 victory over Spring Arbor, where Lily Frazier led the way with 23 points. Last time versus St. Francis, it was a doozy down to there in Marion, Indiana, where Indiana Wesleyan squeaked away with a 7-point victory, 79-72. Lily Frazier led the way with 20 points, 9 rebounds, and a 5 assist there for Indiana Wesleyan. And then Claire Merrill. Had 13 points there for the Wildcats. Meanwhile, for the St. Francis Cougars, they are 14 and 8 on the season, 7 and 6 in Crossroads League play, putting them at a lone soldier in the fourth place. They are under second year head coach and Jeremy Henney. He is 29 and 23 in his two years at the school, turning this St. Francis women's basketball program around. Their last outing, they took a 73 to 60. Four win against Bethel on a Wednesday. Chloe McKnight led the way with 15 points and a three assist right behind her. It was Isabella Gizzi with 14 points, three assists, and four boards. Ali Madden with 10 points, and then Carly Kulberson came off the bench, scoring 13 there for St. Francis. Team stats here for the Cougars this year, 71.6 points per game, 37 rebounds per game, 11 turnovers per game, and 5 steals per game. The last time, as I mentioned, on December 6th against Indiana Wesley, and they took a 7-point loss. Emily Parrott led the way with 21 points and a 6 assist. Meanwhile, Ali Madden provided 15 points and 7 rebounds. Reagan Pate with 11 points and 3 three-pointers there for the St. Francis Cougars. The Cougs are hot right now, rolling into this one on a four-game winning streak, picking up victories against Taylor, Goshen, Huntington, and Bethel. So they are looking to cry to get and stay continuing hot here as we crunch down the regular season contest. Taking a look here at the Crossroads League standings, it is Marion who sits atop 14-0 and in the Crossroads League play. Meanwhile, right behind them, as I mentioned, is Indian Wesley and adds a 12-1. Spring Arbor sits the lone soldier in the third place at 9-4. St. Francis at 7-6. Grace at 6-7. Huntington at 6-8, Taylor at 5-8, Goshen at 4-9, Mount Vernon Nazarene at 2-11, and, and Bethel at 1-12. Taking a look at Crossroads League action here today, Bethel will be at Mount Vernon and Nazarene University, Goshen will be at Grace, and Taylor will be at Spring Arbor. We had a contest yesterday, the Marion Knights defeated the Huntington Foresters 76-44, and that's a contest. So we're going to get the prayer here, followed by the national anthem. So we are going to step away here momentarily. You are watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center National Anthem in the books. Let's go ahead and give you today's uh, starting lineups first for Indiana Wesleyan. It'll be the six-foot junior forward from Madison, Indiana, number zero, and Jade Nutley. The red shirt sophomore guard at 5'11 from Sand Lakes, Michigan, number 21, Anna Taylor, full coma. The senior forward from New Palestine, Indiana, number 23, Anna Jordan Reed. The senior guard from Kokomo, Indiana, number 24, in Claire Merrill. And then the junior guard sitting at 5'10 from Winnemonk, Indiana, number 32. And Lily Frazier there for Indiana Wesleyan. As I mentioned, they're under 7th year head coach and Ethan Wally. Now for the St. Francis Cougars, they're starting on up here tonight. It'll be the junior guard standing at 5'7 from Fort Wayne, Indiana, number 1. And Emily Parrott. The freshman guard from New Palestine, Indiana, standing at five foot eight, number three, in Isabella Gizzi. The junior guard standing at five foot eight from Bedford, Indiana, number eleven, and Chloe McKnight. The freshman forward, or excuse me, freshman guard, is standing at five foot nine from Fort Wayne, Indiana, number fourteen, and Taylor Fordyce, and the sophomore six one center from Moreland, Indiana, number forty, and Ali Madden for St. Francis. It'll be Indiana Wesleyan and the already unis with the white and a gray trim. Meanwhile, St. Francis going to rock out and the all white unis with the blue and a black trim. So we are getting set and ready to roll here from the Hutzel Athletic Center. Should be a tremendous contest. As I mentioned, the last time these two squads played off, it was a 79 to 72 win for the Indiana Wesley and Wildcats. So St. Francis looking to play a little spoiler alert and remain hot here on the season four game winning streak coming into this one for the Cougars. Meanwhile, Indiana Wesley and they come into this contest here on a four game winning streak as well. So one of these two squads is going to break their winning streak at half and we will figure out who that will be it will be Madden and Reed is set to jump it and we are underway the tip is one to St. Francis as Chloe McKnight will have it on that far side of wing here for the Cougars it's off to Fordyce now up top there into the hands of Ali Madden they kick it here on this near side to Gizzy Gizzy with the dish down low here Madden looking to post up Trying to get around, kicks far side, Fordyce with it, five seconds on the shot clock, that one's blocked. They're down low, tremendous stuff. And it's gonna be Indiana Wesley on with possession, a Taylor Fulcuma on the block there for the Wildcats. They dish down low, here to Frazier, looking to go to work here on Gizzy. Frazier with a nice move there, couldn't get it to go. And possession gonna go back now here to the Cougars with 9.15 remaining. Here in our first quarter of action. And so full court pressure being picked up here by the Wildcats to start this one as Taylor Fordyce is going to bring it across the half court line here for St. Francis. Works it here to this near side now to Gizzy. Off to McKnight. She'll dish down low here. Madden with it. Double team brought out to her. They go off to Parrott who drives down low for the buckets. And Emily Parrott starts the scoring here for St. Francis. Frazier will now have it here for the Wildcats. Skips it on up top here to Nutley. Frazier gets it back here in the corner here to Reed. Reed looking to drive on Parrott. Swings it. They get it far side in the corner to Nutley. Going down low here to Reed. Looking to post up on Parrott. She'll spin. Hangs. Couldn't get that one to roll. And Gizzy knocks it down and Parrott comes away with it. Here for St. Francis, and we'll slow it down here for the Cougars. And so Parrott will have it at the top of the key. Trying to get four dice to move with it. Instead goes off to Madden. Madden looking to spin. She'll kick out up top. McKnight, the triple on the way is off the back end of the iron. No good. And the board comes down to full Kima. She'll skip it here on this near side. Hamero up top. The three from Nutley is up and good at the top of the key. And she gets the first bucket there for Indiana Wesleyan. And so it will be 
St. Francis with possession now. Fortnite slept open here near side. Three ball, Taylor. Fortnite, the freshman, drains the triple here for St. Francis. Now down to a two-point ball game here with 7.30 left to go. The drive down low, and Parrott going to have it here now for St. Francis. Looking to run the floor. She'll drive nicely done there to break off the defender. Goes up strong and gets the bucket. And the Cougars out to a four-point lead here with 7.15 left to go. Handoff. Playing up top here now into the hands of Frazier. Kicks here near side. Gets the defender to jump. Nicely done there by McKnight to get back in. Recover on the defensive end in possession. Now with Wesley in the drive. Nice finish there. That's Taylor Fukuma, the junior, who gets the bucket for Indiana Wesley. And check it, the red shirt sophomore here for the Wildcats. For nice finds McKnight up the floor. Gets it off to Gizzy, now into the corner here to McKnight with it on this near side. Bounce pass down low to Parrott, double team brought to her, trying to find somewhere to go with it, and she'll get it out. Fortnite's top of the key, three balls off the back end of the iron, no good, and possession will go back now here for the Wildcats. Frazier with it here now, looking to drive baseline, she'll go up, and a foul is going to be called. Foul is going to be called Emily Pirrett. That'll be her first uh, team's first, the first foul of the ball game. Substitutions here for Indiana Wesleyan as number four Riley Parker, the Purdue Fort Wayne transfer, will check into the contest. Homestead High School graduate as well, and she'll come on now here for Indiana Wesleyan as Frazier trains the first free throw. Izzy Reed, the junior, on the floor as well here for Indiana Wesleyan. Tied up here at 7. 6-10 left to go. Madden with it at the free throw line. Trying to work down low. Nicely done there. Ali Madden goes up strong and gets the bucket. And so it'll be the Wildcats with possession now on that far side of wing. As Frazier... With it, tried to get it in the corner. McKnight poked it away, but the Wildcats able to maintain possession. Nicely done there by Reed to get out to it. They'll skip it all the way around the perimeter on that far side of wing to Reed. Parker gets it off up top here to Nutley. And uh, now here to the hands of Reed. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Nutley looking to drive. They skip it far side. Trying to get a shot off the drive from Frazier down low. And a foul is called on Isabella Gizzi. And so that will be her first foul of the contest. The team's the second of the quarter. And Isabella Gizzi just playing great defense there for St. Francis. But we'll get substitutions here as number two. And Maddie Lawrence, the senior, will check on for Indiana Wesleyan. Meanwhile, Reagan Pate comes on here for St. Francis. First free throw from Frazier. It's up, man. Good. Second for Frazier. It's up, man. Good as well. Julia Mantilla is going to check on here for the Cougars. Uh, she'll come in and replace Atlee Madden. And so it will be. An inbound here for St. Francis with 5.34 left to go here in our first quarter of action. Fordyce, the freshman, with it here on this near side. Skips all the way across court. Pate with the jumper. She hits it. Reagan Pate comes in and gets a bucket for St. Francis. Now out to a two-point lead with 5.15 left. Frazier kicks here near side. Little jumper inside the arc is no good. Board is loose on the deck. We got a tie up. And a jump ball is going to be called. And possession will stay on this end. Here with the Wildcats. 5.07 left to go here in quarter number one. Lawrence will inbound here for Indiana Wesleyan. As she just throws it off the back of the defender there in Mantilla. And Wesleyan able to maintain possession. With it on that far side, Frazier trying to spin. No travel called. It's loose and out of bounds. Last touch by the Cougars. And possession 
We'll stay on this end here with Indiana Wesleyan. Number 21, and Taylor Fulkima will come back on to the red shirt sophomore as she replaces Jordan Reed here for the Wildcats. Frazier with it at the free throw line. She'll launch a jumper and hits it. And so Lily Frazier ties it back up. And Fordyce will bring it up ahead here for St. Francis to mantle up. Frazier tips it away. She'll have it on that far side of wing. Now here for Indiana Wesleyan. Kicks, extra pass up top now here to Lawrence. And we're going to get a check it. They're going to reset the shot clock here. As the game clock actually did not run. It's 444 on the game clock here at the hut. I'm 40, 25 on my screen, so we'll see exactly what they do here with the board as they're going to keep it locked at 441. I think I might have forgotten to stop it here. So doing a little double duty here in action as we'll reset once the clock hits 430, and it now does. Up top here into the hands of Frazier, who has it on that far side of wing. Frazier looking to get down low, dishes it off, going up strong, nicely done there. The finish is good for number four, and Izzy Reed. And so Fordyce up to head to Gizzy, now here in the corner, here to Pate. Gizzy back with it, gets it off to Pate. They'll go in the corner here to Mantilla, with it for St. Francis, looking to drive on Lawrence, and she'll be stopped there by Lawrence, and Mantilla hit the deck hard. And so possession now up top with St. Francis. McKnight will launch a three. Couldn't get that one to roll home. And possession comes down to Indiana Wesleyan. Frazier now looking to drive on Gizzy. Kicks here near side to Lawrence. The triple no good. And McKnight comes away here with the basketball for the Cougars. What a scrappy action here to start this one in our first quarter. It's a two-point lead for Indiana Wesleyan. Gizzy will have it here on this near side of wing. Gets it off to Mantilla. Now into the hands of Fordyce. And a foul is going to be called on Indiana Wesleyan. As it'll be on number four. And Izzy Reed, that'll be her first, the team's first of the contest. Taylor Fordyce will check out. Emily Parrott will come on for her into the contest for Indiana Wesleyan. It is the freshman number 14 in Jasmine Griffin. And then the senior number 24 in Claire Merrill back on for Iwu. Mantilla will have it on that far side. In the corner now here to Gizzy. Shot clock down to 10. Gizzy dishes it off to Parrott. She gets down low. Goes up strong and it's blocked and possession. We'll go back now here to Indiana Wesleyan. Parker will bring it up ahead. The handoff now here into the hands of Griffin. Back to Parker with it here on this near side. So skip outside the three ball is hit there by Maddie Lawrence. And so a five point lead here for the Wildcats. As Gizzy trying to find somebody to go into and is able to get it off now here to Mansilla. And Gizzy will move it up ahead now here for St. Francis. With it here on this near side of wing. This is it off up top. Mantilla, three ball, got it. Julia Mantilla drains the triple. And St. Francis cuts the lead down to two. Parker will have it here on this near side of wing. Skips it off up top to Griffin, and a foul is going to be called on the Cougars. Foul will be called on number 11 and Chloe McKnight. That'll be her first. And the team's third of the quarter. Head coach Jeremy Henney not too pleased about the call here by the official. And we will get an inbound here as Carly Culberson checks into the contest for St. Francis. Lawrence skips far side. Fulkima with it. Back to Lawrence with it here on this near end. She'll hand off into the hands of Merrill. They'll skip it all the way far side. Now Nutley with it. This is it off, Lawrence, the drive, pass outside, three ball on the way. It is short on the marker, and Culberson comes down with the board here for St. Francis. As 1.45 left to go 
And we're going to get a foul called on Indiana Wesleyan as it will be number 14, Jasmine Griffin, who picks up the foul. And so we'll get substitutions into the contest here for the Wildcats. As Parrott skips far side, Gizzi the three ball, got it. Isabella Gizzi gives St. Francis back the lead. And so possession now with the Wildcats here up top. It's Frazier looking to dish down low. Nutley with it. She'll go up strong and a foul is going to be called. And it will be on and Nutley. An offensive foul called on her. And so 125 left to go. And possession will go back now here to the Cougars. As the inbound on that far side. Parrots. We'll move it up ahead here for St. Francis. That one poked out of bounds and possession. We'll stay on this far side here with St. Francis. As Taylor Fordyce will check on here for the Cougars. And she'll come in and replace Isabella Gizzi. Culberson set to inbound on that far side here for St. Francis. She'll get it in now here to Emily Parrots. Parrott going to look to space the floor a little bit. She'll get it off on that far side. Now to Fordyce. Fordyce looking to drive down low. Out to Cooper, or excuse me, that's out to Reagan Pate who hits the three ball for St. Francis. Four point lead. A drive from Frazier. Extra pass outside now here to Nutley. Off to Frazier with it. She'll look to drive, this is off to Nutley down low. Oh, a foul is going to be called from behind here for St. Francis. As Carly Culberson will pick up the foul for the Cougars. Chloe McKnight set to check on here for St. Francis as she'll come in and replace Emily Parrott. And so we'll get an inbound here for Merrill with 47.4 left. Here in our first quarter of action. And they get it in far side, back there on the inbound to Merrill. It she'll dish it off down low to Nutley. Culberson takes it away. Carly Culberson looking to drive, dishes it off. McKnight with it, gets it outside. Fordyce now here on this near side. The freshman has it poked away, but able to maintain it. And we're going to get a timeout called smartly by head coach Jeremy Henney and the St. Francis Cougars. So we will step away. You are watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center. 29.2 seconds left to go here in our first quarter of action. It's Kulberson who will inbound for the Cougars. Gets it in the backcourt to Fordyce, able to catch up to it as it was thrown just a bit behind her. Fordyce will have it on that far side of wing. With it now here at the top of the key. Far side now to McKnight. Shot clock down to seven. She'll hand off. Now to Reagan Pates with it on that far side. It's got to get a shot up. Mantilla from the volleyball line. Oh, my goodness. Julia Mantilla drains the deep triple. What a shot there from Mantilla. One second on the board. And that is the end of our first quarter of action. It is St. Francis 23, Indiana Wesley at 16. And it is not the end here as we get a foul called. At the end of our first, Holland Taylor Fordyce. And so that is going to send number 32 in Lily Frazier back to the charity stripe here for Indiana Wesleyan. And, and Frazier is at the line here for her third time. But tonight, so far, I do believe...
And so the official's going to have a discussion on that far side, and I think they're going to put a little bit of time on the clock here as Frazier waiting at the line, and that foul is called on Fordyce. And so they're going to put points three seconds, I do believe, on the clock here. And so we will do so as well as it is Frazier at the line to shoot a pair. First free throw is up and good. Second one for Frazier is up and it rattles home as well. And so point three seconds left if St. Francis just got to get it in. And that is going to be the end of our first quarter. It is the Cougars with a 23 to 18 lead over the Wildcats. You are watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center. St. Francis out to a five-point lead as we get set to begin our second quarter of action. It'll be an inbound here for the Cougars as Taylor Fordyce will be set to inbound on that far side here for the Cougars. Trying to get some help here is Fordyce, and she's able to get it in, though, here to Emily Parrott. We'll have it on that far side, a wing for St. Francis. Kicks here near side, Fordyce with it. Fordyce able to move it to the top of the key. On this near side, now to Parrott. The dish down low, matted nice fine over top there. Looking to post up, they're gonna call a foul on the floor though before Taylor Fordyce could get that shot up here. So a foul is gonna be called on the number 23 and Jordan Reed and that'll be her first to the team's first of the quarter, and so we'll get an inbound underneath here for St. Francis. So we'll put 20 seconds on the shot clock, and Parrott will inbound here for the Cougars. Gets it in on that far side. Now here to Fordyce, with it looking to drive. Kicks it off up top, McKnight. Now we'll have it on that far side of wing here for St. Francis. McKnight with it, eight seconds on the shot clock, and has it ripped away. Jump ball is called, and possession Going to go back to the Wildcats here with 9.27 left to go here in our second quarter of action. As it is Lily Frazier leading the show here for the Wildcats. She'll bring it up ahead, eight points on the night here so far for the NAIA All-American second team player from last season. And they'll get it off on this near side. Dish down low, looking to post up to kick out to Reed. Jumper is no good. And Parrott comes down with it here for St. Francis. She'll move it across the half court line. Parrott with the bounce pass. Madden out to Fordyce, three ball. No good there on that far side, tipped underneath. McKnight puts it up, couldn't get it to go. And possession comes back now here for Indita Wesley and Frazier. Brings it up ahead, kicks in here on this near side, jumper on the way, it is no good. And board is loose, 
Fordyce couldn't catch up to it, had three Wildcats around her. And so the Indiana Wesleyan takes possession in the three balls hit there by Nutley, her second of the contest. And so it'll be Fordyce to bring it up ahead to Gizzy with it here on this near side of wing. Gizzy will have it here at the top of the key. Moves it to that far side. Now down low here to Madden. Tried to poke it back out to Gizzy. It's poked away once again. And possession will come down. Now here for St. Francis where they'll inbound. And we'll get a substitution. It's Julia Mantilla who will come on here for St. Francis as she replaces Ali Madden. McKnight will inbound on that far side of wing. She'll get it into Mantilla. Back to McKnight. She'll launch a corner three. No good there. And the board tipped down now here for Indiana Wesleyan. They'll move it on this near side wing. Frazier go all the way around the perimeter on that far side to Nutley. Frazier dishes it off. The drive down low. And they're going to count the basket, I do believe. As that foul is called on Ed Taylor Fordyce. And so that will be her second. And the team's first of the quarter. As the free throw hit. And Indiana Wesley and out to a one point lead. Reagan Paint will come on here for St. Francis. Uh, she'll replace number 11 in Chloe McKnight. And so it'll be Fordyce. Moves it up ahead now here to Mantilla. With it. At the free throw line, stops, kicks far side. Gizzy will launch a triple, couldn't get that to go. Mantilla nicely done there, down low. Puts it off glass for the bucket. Frazier will have it now here on this near side of wing for Indiana Wesleyan. Looking to drive, she'll spin with it. Kicks out far side, now into the hands of Merrill. Dish down low, Fulkima goes off glass, couldn't get it to roll. And Fordyce, the freshman, comes down with it. And... Contact is drawn on that far side. And so we'll get an inbound here for St. Francis as Claire Merrill will pick up the foul. That'll be her first, the team's second of our second quarter of action. 7.20 left to go here in quarter number two. It's a one-point lead for the Cougars. Substitution into the contest here for Indiana Wesleyan as number two and Maddie Lawrence will come back on for the Wildcats. And she'll replace number 23. And Jordan Reed. And so it'll be Parrott who has it on that far side off to Fordyce. Up top now here to the hands of Gizzy. Gizzy skips here to Parrott. Now going to look to drive down low. Gets the defender to jump. Couldn't get it to roll off glass. And possession comes down now here for Indiana Wesleyan. Handoff to Nutley. She'll get it in the corner now here to Lawrence. Nutley looking to post up on Mantilla. She'll spin. Hangs nicely done on the defensive end by Julia Mantilla to hold Nutley out. And tremendous defense there to have her force up the shot. Parrott will have it now on that far side of wing here for St. Francis. In the corner here to Gizzy. Back to Parrott on that far side of wing. And Parrott going to dribble in and draw the contact. And a foul is going to be called. It'll be on Maddie Lawrence. That'll be her first team's third of the quarter. As Carly Kulberson will come back on for St. Francis. Jasmine Griffin will come back on as well for Indiana Wesleyan. We'll get an inbound underneath here for the Cougars. Riley Parker will come back on for Indiana Wesleyan as well. And we'll get an inbound underneath here for Parrott. And St. Francis with 6.28 to left to go. Here in our second. Parrott able to get it in over top. Mantilla now off to Pates with it on that far side. In the corner here, Mantilla with it. She'll drive, skips in the corner. Kulberson with it. She'll look to drive down low. Triple team brought, and it's thrown away. Nicely done defensively by Frazier to jump the lane. Up ahead, and one opportunity here for Riley Parker. The senior will head to the line to shoot one here for Indiana Wesleyan. And so a timeout is called on the floor 
And we will step away. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center, Riley Parker will head to the free throw line to shoot one. A transfer out of Purdue University, Fort Wayne, Homestead High School, Fort Wayne graduate. Uh, she is at the line. Her free throw is off the back end of the iron and no good. And possession will come down now here for St. Francis. It's Parrott who will have it on this near side of wing. Cougs are down one with six minutes left. Kick there, far side. Mantilla will launch a three. Couldn't get that one to roll. And the board comes down now here to Frazier. With it, Frazier is going to drive. Spins, hangs. Couldn't get that one to fall. And the board comes down now here for Emily Parrots. She'll look to push it up ahead. The drive from Parrot, double team brought. She's able to get through it and draw a contact underneath. And a foul is going to be called. And so that foul will be the fourth team foul on Indiana Wesleyan. And that's the first team foul on Taylor Fulkima. And it will be Gissy and Mantilla to check out. Madden and McKnight will come back on here for St. Francis as they're able to get it in here to Madden. Double team brought, dishes underneath. A nice find there. Emily Parrott gives the coup to the one point lead. Frazier will have it here on this near side. Gets a screen. Looking to drive. Kick out. They go up top. Now here into the hands of Madison Lawrence. On that far side. In the corner now here to Fulkima. She's going to look to drive. Kicks out. Three ball on the way. It is no good. And the board comes down now here for McKnight. And St. Francis going to look to push some possession. As it's Parrott with it. Gets Madden to slide underneath. She'll spin. Kicks out here near side to McKnight. With it here for the Cougars up top. McKnight going to move it to that far side wing. That one's kicked out of bounds off of Indiana Wesleyan. And so possession will stay on the scent here with the Cougars as they'll inbound on that far side with 4.42 left. Substitutions into the contest. Number 10 and Jade Hubby and at number 24. And Claire Merrill. Back into the contest here for Indiana Wesleyan. McKnight will have it on that far side of wing here for St. Francis. Off to Culberson. Culberson going to look to drive. Oh, nice move there. Carly Culberson with a little shake and bake action. She gives the Cougars a three-point lead. 420 left on that far side. It's in the hands there of Merrill. Skips it on up top here to Lawrence. With it at the top of the key. Parker back to Lawrence here near side. Three ball is up and good. And so Maddie Lawrence with her second triple of the night. Ties things up. Now here at the 29 apiece. And Culberson trying to get it to Parrott here near side. Oh, nice takeaway there. Carly Culberson said it was my fault. So I'm going to go back and take it away. And she gets it out to McKnight. Three balls, no good. And the board comes down now here for Indiana Wesleyan. On that far side, Merrill with it. Skips it on up top here to Hubby. On this near side, Parker. Back up top, they'll move it to that far side to Lawrence. In the corner now, full chemo with it. This is it. Down low, Lawrence looking to post up. Nice find underneath. And Hubby gets the bucket there for Indiana Wesleyan. And so Parrott will move it up ahead here for St. Francis. Far side, now to Culberson, looking to break the full court press. Culberson skips it on this near side. McKnight down low to Madden. She'll spin, hangs, couldn't get that one to fall. And the board comes down now here for Indiana Wesleyan. 
Parker. They'll move it up ahead. Lawrence skips far side to Hovey. Back up top here into the hands of Lawrence. Gets it on to Parker here near side. Parker up top. Lawrence now going to look to drive. Skips far side. Corner three ball. It's up and good there for Taylor Fulkima. And Indiana Wesleyan now out to two a five point lead. As it will be Parrott to bring it up ahead. Trying to break the full court press and poked away. And Culberson couldn't get it back here on this near side. But a great effort there by her. And so possession will stay on this end here with Indiana Wesleyan. Julia Mantilla will come on and replace Ali Madden. Lily Frazier back on as well here for Indiana Wesleyan. Carly Cooperson will come out. Number 13 and Fatima Valente will come on here for St. Francis. Has the inbound here to Parker. And skip it on up top here to Frazier. Hand off on that far side. The spin. Kick out to Lawrence. Now with it at the top of the key. Guarded by Mantilla. Lawrence with the handoff. Merrill far side. The dish down low. Frazier going to go up strong. And they're going to call. And out of bounds on Indiana Wesleyan. And so possession will go back now to St. Francis. And officials having a discussion on which one's going to run the floor and which one is not. And so it'll be Parrott to move it up ahead now here for St. Francis. With it here on this near side up top. Mantilla with it. Looking to drive. Skips it on up top now here into the hands of Parrott. This is it off here near side to McKnight. Going to back it back out here for St. Francis with 150 left. Out to Mantilla, corner three. Oh, rattles in and out there for her. And possession comes down to Frazier here in the Wildcats. With possession on this near side. Frazier spins, double team brought to her. She'll dish, far side, Parker three. No good there. And board is, that one will go off the rim, out of bounds. And possession will go back to St. Francis. And so it'll be Parrott, who will move it up ahead now here for the Cougars. With 125 left. McKnight, the three ball on that far side, no good. Valente puts it up and gets the bucket. But seeing Valente with a nice effort down low. And she'll get the score here for St. Francis. Now down three on this near side. Parker will launch a three. Riley Parker drains the triple. And now Valente will inbound here into the hands of Emily Parrott, who will move it up ahead for St. Francis. Far side now into the hands there, Reagan Pates. Up top to Mantilla with it at the top of the key. Mantilla going to look to drive. She'll stop. Kicks here near side to McKnight. The dish out to Valente with it here on this near side up top. McKnight, check it. That's Mantilla that launches the three ball here for St. Francis. In the three-point game, two-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. It's Frazier. We'll have it here on this near side of wing. She'll hand off now up top into the hands of Merrill. Clock now down to 15 seconds. Lawrence, the dish down low, and that one's poked away. And possession will stay on this end. Here with Indiana Wesleyan, seven seconds on the game clock, five seconds on the shot clock here. We'll get a substitution for St. Francis as Cartley Culberson will check on for the Cougs and she'll replace Emily Parrott. As it'll be Merrill to inbound underneath here for Indiana Wesleyan. Frazier with it. She'll spin, puts up a shot, no good. Culberson comes down with it and... I'm not 100% sure. I thought we had a whistle blown here by the official. And that was not the, not the case. It sounded like it. But either way, that's the end of our first half of action. 
Cindy and Wesley in 37, St. Francis 34. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center. Let's go ahead and run down our halftime stats here. This one is a three-point lead for Indiana Wesleyan here at our halftime break. Leading the way for St. Francis, it was Julia Mantela with three triples, 11 points in the first half. Emily Parrott with six points. Reagan Pate with five. Isabella Gizzi with a three. Taylor Fordyce with three. Carly Cooperson with a two. And Fatima Valente with a two. And Ali Madden with two as well there for the Cougars. The only player not to score for St. Francis is their leading scorer, and Chloe McKnight in the first half of action. Meanwhile, for Indiana Wesleyan, it was Taylor Fulkima who led the way with Lily Frazier, both with eight points. Jake Nutley with six, Manny Lawrence with six, Riley Parker with five, Izzy Reed with two, and Jade Hubby with the two points there for Indiana Wesleyan. The number four team in the nation shot 12 of a seven, or excuse me, 12 of 27 from field goal range there. 44.4%, 6 of 10 from beyond the arc for 60%, and 7 of 8 from the free throw line. Meanwhile, for St. Francis, it was 14 of 29 from the field. That's a 48.3%, 6 of 16 from 3, and 0 of 0 from the free throw line. Now looking at the turnovers, it was 5 turnovers for St. Francis and 4 for Indiana Wesleyan. The Wildcats win the rebounding battle by one, 16 to 15. And then a total fouls, it was seven from both squads there in the first half of action. So we're gonna go ahead and step away, take one more break. We'll come back with the second half. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center as we can get set to begin our third quarter of action. It will be the Cougars who will have the basketball to start it as Taylor Fordyce will head to that far side here to inbound for St. Francis. They'll bring their starters on the floor with Emily Parrott. Isabella Gizzi, Chloe McKnight, Taylor Fordyce, and uh, Julia Mantilla. Meanwhile, on the floor for Indiana Wesleyan, it is Jada Nutley, Taylor Fulkima, Jordan Reed, Claire Merrill, and uh, Lily Frazier on the floor here for Indiana Wesleyan. McKnight will launch a three, couldn't get that one to fall there, and the Wildcats come away with possession as it's Frazier who will have it here on this near side wing. He'll get it back here on this near side to her. She'll just shout up top to Nutley with it. On that far side, spins, hangs, bucket. And Fordyce will bring it up ahead here for St. Francis. With it on that far side, double team brought. Parrott gets it across the half court line. Mantilla ahead to McKnight. McKnight kind of now going to look to drive down low. She'll go up off glass, could get that one to fall. And the board comes down now here to Merrill. Moves it here on this near side. Check it. This is Merrill. She'll launch a triple. No good there. Board comes down into the hands there of Taylor Fulkima. And she'll go up and get the bucket. And so a seven-point lead here for Indiana Wesley. And as I did not start the clock here, so we'll get that figured out here for you. As 8.35 
remains. Fordyce, the freshman with the drive. She'll draw the contact and she'll head to the line to shoot a pair here for St. Francis. Foul is going to be called on Frazier. That'll be her first team's first of the half. So the freshman in Taylor Fordyce, one of the top freshmen I've seen, comes into this one averaging 11 points per game. 85% free throw shooter here for the Cougars will be at the line to shoot a pair here for St. Francis. First free throw for her is up and good. Second one for Fordyce. It's up and good as well. And so she cuts the lead down to five. They dish it off on that far side. Okima zips it up top. Three ball on the way. It is up and good there for Nutley. And she drains another triple there for Indiana Wesleyan. And so now an eight point lead here for the Wildcats. As Fordyce and Parrott break the half court line. It's Gizzy with it. She'll launch a jumper, couldn't get it to fall. And the board is tipped down here to Frazier. Looking to push it up ahead. She'll drive down low, off glass. She gets the bucket and extends the Wildcat lead out to 10. And timeout is called by St. Francis. And so we'll take one with him. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the hut. It is 7.57 left to go and a run to start. Our second half of action here for Indiana Wesleyan as St. Francis calls the timeout. They're there, they'll have two remaining. Looking for the dish down low to Mantilla. That one poked out of bounds by the Wildcats. And possession will stay on this end here with the Cougars. As they will inbound underneath here from Emily Parrott. It's it into Fordyce. With it on this near side, bounce pass down low. Mantilla goes up strong and gets the bucket. And so Julia Mantilla now with 13 points here on the night for the Cougars. Nutley with a drive and wanted a travel call, did the St. Francis faithful but did not get that call. And so it will be a foul called on the Cougars as Emily Parrott picks up her second and will get a substitution as she'll check out. And Carly Cooperson will come on here for her. First free throw is up and a good there for Nutley. Jay Nutley. First Crossroads League team player last season. And she hits there on the second, averaging 11 and a half points per game here on the year for Indiana Wesleyan. And she is over that now. Uh, she has 13 on the night. Coberson dishes in the corner, extra pass up top. Four dice, one more to Mantilla on that far side of wing. St. Francis was looking for a three, but nice job defensively there by Indiana Wesleyan. 
And a foul is going to be called on that far side on the Wildcats. So it'll be on number 21. And Taylor Fokema, that's going to be her second. And the team's second of the quarter. And so it'll be Fordyce who will inbound underneath here for St. Francis. Gets it in over top to Coolberson. With it, dishes it down low. And that one's last touched by St. Francis. And substitution to end of the contest. Here for Indiana Wesleyan as Riley Parker and Izzy Reed to come back on. And so it'll be Frazier who will bring it up ahead here for Indiana Wesleyan. She'll get it back and the handoff on that far side to Reed. And that one's poked away. And Fordyce comes down with it. And... We're going to get a foul called on Indiana Wesleyan. As that foul is called on Jordan Reed. And that's going to be her third. That's the team's third of the quarter. And so an inbound will come here for St. Francis. As it'll be Fordyce. And Gizzi to move it up the half court line. Far side, Coolberson off to Gizzi with it here near side. Gizzi kicks out for Dice. We'll back it out now here for St. Francis. Mantilla, far side, three ball, no good off the back end of the iron. And the board comes down here for Indiana Wesleyan, and a foul is going to be called. That's Chloe McKnight. We'll pick up the foul for St. Francis. Substitutions into the contest here for the Cougars as Ali Madden, Emily Parrott, and Reagan Pate will all come on. They'll replace Julia Mantilla, Taylor Fordyce, and Chloe McKnight. And so 6.22 left. It'll be possession here now with the Wildcats. As it's Nutley with it looking to drive down low. She'll go up, could get that one to fall, and Parrott comes down with it. Quickly up ahead, Coolberson the drive off glass. She gets the finish. Eight point lead, and now here for Indiana Wesleyan as we're under six minutes left to go. Far side, three ball on the way. It's up and good there for Izzy Reed. Back out to an 11 point lead here for the Wildcats. Madden will have it now here and gets it off to Emily Parrott. We'll get a screen there from Madden. Works it far side in the corner. Pate the triple. No good there. Culberson with a nice board. Puts it up. Couldn't get it to go. And we're going to get a foul called on St. Francis as Ali Madden will pick up the foul for the Cougars. That'll be her first uh, team's third. And so we'll get an inbound here for Indiana Wesleyan. As it'll be Frazier. We'll bring it across the half-court line here for the Wildcats. This is an off-far side to Reed. Up top now here to the hands of Nutley. Handoff, not a Frazier. Skips it here on this near side to Reed. will launch a three. It is no good. And Madden comes down with the board. Off to Emily Parrott now with it on that far side of wing here for the Kooks. She'll drive. Kicks it out to Madden. Back to Parrott down low. She'll go up off glass. And she gets the bucket. For Asia, looking to drive, kicks up top. Now here to Nutley on this near side of Reed with it. We'll move it all the way around on that far side. Now into the hands of Riley Parker. Dish here, Reed with it, trying to get Parrott to jump. And instead, a foul is going to be called. And it will be on Emily Parrott. That'll be her third and the team's fourth of the quarter. And so Taylor Fordyce will come on and replace her. Meanwhile, number two. And Matty Lawrence, as well as number 21, and Taylor Fokimo will come on here for Indiana Wesleyan as they'll replace Nutley and Reed for the Wildcats. The drive and offense. Oh! They're going to count the bucket. 
and call a foul on Carly Culberson. And I am not 100% sure what the official call was as everybody is confused on the court. And Carly Culberson did a tremendous job setting her feet defensively to draw the foul. But instead, they're going to call that foul on Culberson. And so that is going to be her second and the team's fifth foul. And so that is going to send Frazier to the line for one. And she hits the free throw. And so a 12-point lead here now for the Wildcats as Madden with it. Travels calm. In possession will go back to Indiana Wesleyan. Julia Mantilla will come back on here for St. Francis as she replaces Ali Madden. And so we'll get an inbound on that far side here from Lawrence and the Wildcats. Lawrence skips here on this near side. Okima kicks out. Three ball on the way. It is no good there. And board is going to be tied up. Culberson pokes it away and able to maintain it here for St. Francis. Fordyce will have it now here on this near side of wing. She'll get a screen there from Mantilla. Fordyce works around it with it. Puts up a shot. Could get it to fall. And Mantilla hit the deck hard there. They're going to get a foul called on Indiana Wesleyan. Maddie Lawrence will pick up the foul there for the Wildcats. That's her second substitution into the contest as Lily Frazier will come out. Jade Hubby will come on here for her. And we'll get an inbound underneath here for Taylor Fordyce in St. Francis with 3.52 left. Culberson, the lay-in, nicely done there. She gets the bucket. 10-point lead now here for the Wildcats. Lawrence will have it. Fouls called on Mantua. And so that'll be the sixth team foul. And so that is going to send Lawrence to the free throw line to shoot a pair here for Indiana Wesleyan. And so Lawrence, six points on the night here already. First one is up and good. Lawrence, a 2022-23 Crossroads League honorable mention player. Comes into this one, averaging six points per game. And she now has eight here on the night. And it is a 12-point lead here for Indiana Wesleyan. Fordyce will have it on that far side. Culberson, the dish down low here to Mantilla. She'll go up, off glass, count the bucket, and one opportunity coming here for Julia Mantilla. And so it'll be Julia Mantilla having a tremendous night here so far. 15 points on the night, and she's at the line now to shoot one as it's a 10-point lead here for Indiana Wesleyan. The free throw for Mantilla is up and good. And so now a nine-point lead. 3.25 left to go here in our third quarter of action. Parker will have it on that far side in the corner. Dishes it off. Three ball on the way. It is no good. Fordyce comes down with the board here for the Cougars. We'll move it here on this near side of wing. Fordyce going to look to slow it. She'll drive, foul is going to be called on the floor, and it will be on Indiana Wesleyan, number four. And Izzy Reed will pick up the foul. That'll be her second. And that's the team's sixth of the quarter. And so it'll be Taylor Fordyce at the line to shoot a pair. 
As Lawrence will come out, and for her will be Nutley, and it will be Taylor Fordyce, the freshman, who will head to the line to shoot here for St. Francis. First free throw is up and good there for her. And so Taylor Fordyce having a tremendous freshman year here for head coach Jeremy Henney and the St. Francis Cougars as she hits there on the second as a well. And so substitutions into the contest here for Indiana Wesleyan as Riley Parker and Izzy Reed will come out. And then for them will be number 23 in Jordan Reed and number 24 in Claire Merrill. Hovey. This is it off on this near side to full chemo with it. She'll go down low. Nutley gets it off. Now here into the hands of Hubby. Far side. They'll dish it off up top. Back to Hubby with it here on this near side. Now into the hands of Nutley. Far side. In the corner. Looking to drive. And a foul is called on the Cougars. As Taylor Fordyce will pick up the foul for St. Francis. And so 2.37 left to go. And that is going to send a number 21. And Taylor Fulkima, the red shirt sophomore, to the free throw line to shoot a pair here for Indiana Wesleyan. She hits there on the first. First free throw, or excuse me, second one for her is up and good as well. And so it's a nine-point lead here for the Wildcats as St. Francis with possession. Fordyce will bring it up ahead. Double-team brought to her, and she is knocked down. Mantilla comes away with it. This is it off to Pate down low. She'll go up, and a foul is going to be called. As that foul is called on number 21, and Taylor Fulkima. And so both squads getting fouls called both ways now as Reagan Pate hits there on the first free throw. Second one is up and good as well. And so 17 fouls apiece here in quarter number three as number 32. And Lily Frazier will check back on for Taylor Fulkima. And we will get Frazier, who will move it up ahead here for Indiana Wesleyan. This is a seven-point lead here for the Wildcats. Skip here on this near side here to Hubby. Back up top. They'll go far side now. Nutley with it. Try to get it around the Frazier. Does do so. Frazier guarded by Gizzy. Trying to find somewhere to go and gets it to Nutley here near side. She'll launch a three, no good. And board is knocked down. Frazier and count the basket. As Parrott will inbound here for St. Francis. Fordyce off to Parrott here near side. Mantilla to Fordyce with it on that far side of wing. Fordyce with the drive down low, couldn't spin it home. And possession comes back now here for Indiana Wesleyan. As Frazier skips it cross court here near side. Now into the hands of Reed. Reed dishes it off. And Frazier has it ripped away by Parrots. And Parrot looking to move it up ahead as the Cougars are down nine. Mantilla kicks out here near side into the hands of Fordyce. Fordyce, the spin, hangs, couldn't get that one to fall off glass. And possession comes back and now here for Indiana Wesleyan as we are under one minute. Left to go in our third. Three ball far side, short on the marker. Parrott comes down with it here for St. Francis. And she'll move it now up ahead here for the Cougars. With it here on this near side of wing. Parrott, the drive down low, couldn't get it to go on the contact. Wanted a foul called, but did not get it. Tried to draw one. And possession comes back now here for Indiana Wesleyan as there is a six, sec six seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. It's Frazier. This is an off up top to Nutley. Hand off. Reed with the shot there and a foul is going to be called. 
So it'll be on Emily Parrott, and that is going to be her fourth, and that's the team's eighth of the quarter. And so that is going to send number 23 and Jordan Reed to the free throw line, the senior 2022-23 all Crossroads League second team last season. 13 points per game on the season. Zero points on the night here so far. It's played very limited minutes here due to fouls. Three personal fouls on her tonight. Uh, she'll be now at the line to shoot a pair. Her first free throw is up and no good. Chloe McKnight set to check on here for St. Francis. After this shot from Reed. Second free throw is up and good. And so a 10 point lead here for the Wildcats. Riley Parker will come on. Chloe McKnight will come on for the Cougars. As Riley Parker checks on for Indiana Wesleyan. 12 seconds left here to go in our third quarter of action. It'll be Gizzy who will inbound here for St. Francis. Gets it into Fordyce with it on that far side of wing. Fordyce will move it up the floor across the half court line with it. And we're going to get a foul called on Indiana Wesleyan. As that is going to send Julia Mantilla to the free throw line. That's the eighth team foul on the Wildcats. And that's the first foul called on Claire Merrill. Carly Cooperson will come on here for Taylor Fordyce for St. Francis. Meanwhile, Jordan Reed will come back on here for Indiana Wesleyan and replace number 10 and Jade Hubby. And so it'll be Julia Mantilla at the line to shoot here for St. Francis. A tremendous night here so far for the sophomore. As with that free throw there, now has 18 points on the night. Second one is up and good as well. So 19 points on the night for the sophomore. Inbound to Reed with it on that far side. Gets it across half court line. One second at the buzzer. And Reed hits it, running the court fully. And that is the end of our third. It's a 10 point lead for Indiana Wesley. And you are watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live, <clears throat> excuse me, as we get set to begin our fourth corner of action. It'll be an inbound here for Indiana Wesleyan as the Wildcats ahead by 10. And the spin from Frazier, she hangs and gets the finish. It'll be Cooperson to bring it up ahead for St. Francis. Fordyce. Out to Gizzy, she'll launch a three, couldn't get that one to fall. 
And the board comes down now here to Frazier. With it at the top of the key. Frazier. And Culberson pokes it away, but into a hand of a Wildcat as a three ball on this near side is no good. Culber McKnight comes away with it here for St. Francis. Off to Culberson, who will bring it across the half court line. With it here, Culberson looking to drive out to McKnight. She'll launch a three. Couldn't get that one to fall. And Chloe McKnight having an off night here for St. Francis. As McKnight now shooting 0 of 9 from the field. Not usually what we see here from the top player on this St. Francis squad coming into this one, averaging 14 points per game. Just can't find the groove. As the foul's called on, Cooper said that's her second team's first of the quarter. And so Taylor Fordyce will check back on here for the Cougars. As a Reagan Pete will come on. First free throw is up and good there for Netley. 13 point lead here for the Wildcats. The number four team in NAIA. Only two losses on of this season. Having a tremendous year here so far. Gizzy. Plays it up ahead now here to Mantilla with it on this near side of wing. Off to McKnight. She'll get it off on that far side. Try to find Fordyce. This one's thrown out of bounds. And possession will stay on this end here with St. Francis. Allie Madden will come on and replace Julia Mantilla for the Cougars. And we'll get an inbound here from McKnight and St. Francis. McKnight with it at the top of the key. Moves it here to this near side of wing. Off to Gissy. With it here now, foul's going to be called. Foul's going to be called on number 21. And Taylor Fulkeman, that's going to be her fourth, the team's first of the fourth quarter of action. And McKnight set to inbound here for the Cougs. Gets it in here to Madden. Looking for somewhere to go, and he's able to get it off here to Taylor Fordyce. With it at the top of the key, Culberson now with it here on this near side of wing. She'll look to drive, puts up a running floater. I guess you can call that a jumper there, and Carly Culberson hits it. Now the Cougs down 12, 8-10 left to go. Drive far side, and offensive foul is called on Indiana Wesleyan, number zero. And Jay Nutley picks up the foul. That'll be her second. As Riley Parker will come back on for Indiana Wesleyan. Cougs now down 12. As they get it up ahead now here on that far side. Madden up ahead to Cooberson. Has a right, has a drive in the lane. Gets around the defender. Nice board down low. Couldn't get the finish there. Could Madden on the second chance opportunity. And Indiana Wesley and looking to take advantage of it. Riley Parker rises up from deep, no good. And Fordyce able to rip this one away. She dribbles into the defender on this near side. And we've got an out of bounds call. Possession will stay on this end here with the Wildcats. As no foul is called. There's Taylor Fordyce tried to dribble in and draw the contact here and she ran out of room on this near side. And instead it's a turnover and possession will be now with Indiana Wesleyan. Spin and the hang, no good. Nice board there from Reed. They'll swing it all the way on that far side now into the hands of Merrill. Drive from Reed, kicks here, extra pass on this near side. Frazier with it. Out far side, jumper on the way, it is no good. And we're going to get a foul called down low on St. Francis. It's Chloe McKnight will pick up the foul for the Cougars. And so we'll get substitutions here for St. Francis as Reagan Pates, Emily Parrott, 
and Julia Mantilla all come on. Taylor Fordyce, Ali Madden, and Chloe McKnight will all take a seat here for St. Francis. Turn around, jump shot there, no good from Reed. And Parrott finally able to grab a defensive board here for the Cougars. She'll move it across the half court line. With it here on this near side wing. Kick in the corner to Cooberson. Launches it all the way cross court. Gizzy gets around traffic, puts it off glass, and she gets the bucket. And so the lead cut down to 10. 6.50 left to go here at our fourth. It's Frazier who will have it on that far side. The leading scorer here for the Wildcats. 17 points on the night here for her. Comes into this one. Averaging 20 points a game. As that one's poked out of bounds. We'll get an inbound here for Indiana Wesleyan. As it'll be Nutley who will inbound on that far side for the Wildcats. Parker will have it at the top of the key. Merrill with it. A three ball is short on the marker. Out of bounds. Possession we'll go back to St. Francis. Oh. Yikes. And they're going to call that a deflected shot. And so it'll be an inbound here for Indiana Wesleyan with four seconds on the shot clock. Frazier. And that one's now finally tipped out of bounds. And the officials make the call. And possession will go back to St. Francis with a 6.23 left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. So it'll be Parrott who will bring it up ahead here for St. Francis. Gizzi gets it up the floor now here to Mansella. Far side, Cooperson, three ball, cool on it. She hits the triple and St. Francis cuts the lead down to seven. 6.10 left to go, timeout called. We will step away. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Back here live from the Hutzel Athletic Center. We'll get an inbound here for Indiana Wesleyan with a 6-10 left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. It'll be the Wildcats with the basketball as Merrill will give it off to Frazier and she'll bring it across the half-court line here for Indiana Wesleyan. Nutley now with it on that far side guarded by Mantilla. The handoff to Frazier. The drive down low, and a foul is going to be called. Reagan Pates will pick up the foul as Frazier will be at the line to shoot a pair here for Indiana Wesleyan. First free throw for Frazier is off the back end of the rim. Second one for Frazier is up and a good. And so she extends. The Wildcats lead out to eight. It'll be Parrott 
who will bring it up ahead here for St. Francis. Far side now into the hands of Gizzi, double team brought. Mantilla dishes down low to Parrott, and a foul is going to be called. As those two had a little rivalry in the high school level. Riley Parker went to Homestead High School here in Fort Wayne. Emily Parrott, Carroll High School, two rivals in the 2-6-0. And those two getting to compete against one another again on the college level. That's the jumper there is off the back end of the iron. And possession comes down now here for the Wildcats. Frazier with the drive. She kisses it off the glass for the bucket. Fordyce will have it on that far side up ahead to Coolberson. Tried to dish it off there to Mantilla. Was able to maintain it. That one's off the foot of Parker and out of bounds. Possession will stay on this end. Here with St. Francis. As it's going to be Emily Parrott who will inbound for the Cougars. And so 16 seconds on the shot clock here for St. Francis. We'll get an inbound here from Emily Parrott, who gets it in here to Mansilla. Dish down low to Parrott. Kicks out. Pates with the handoff. Four dice. Seven seconds on the shot clock. She'll drive down low. Couldn't get it to fall. That one goes out of bounds off of Parker. And possession will stay as I said here with the Cougars. As we'll get an inbound underneath here for Emily Parrott and St. Francis. Parrott gets it into Cooberson here, looking to drive. Nicely done there by Cooberson. To get around the defender. And goes up strong to get the bucket. And Cooberson gonna pick up the foul on the other end. That'll be her third. That's the team's fourth of the quarter as Isabella Gizzi will check on here for St. Francis as she replaces Carly Kulberson. And so off the inbound it is going to be Frazier who will have it on this near side of wing. She'll get it back now here and drops it off. Running floater nicely done there. The bucket is good by number 23 in Jordan Reed. Parrott has it whipped away by Frazier. The dish off far side, couldn't get that one to fall, and Parrott comes down with the board here for St. Francis. She'll move it up ahead on this near side. Gizzy with it in the corner. Gets it off to Mansela, who hits the deck card. And foul is called. Merrill will pick up the foul. That'll be her second, the team's fourth. We'll get an inbound from underneath here for St. Francis. Out of the timeout called by Indiana Wesley, and it's a full one. We'll step away. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
Inbound here for St. Francis out of the timeout called by Indiana Wesley. And Parrott's got to get it in, and she does. Is able to get it in here to Mantilla. With it here on this near side up top. Now to Fordyce. With it. Skips it off. Pates in the corner now here. Mantilla with it. She'll drive. Kicks far side. Fordyce looking to back it out. Now shot clock down to six. She'll put a running shot. No good. And the board comes down now here to Frazier for Indiana Wesleyan. She'll slow things down here for them as they are ahead by 10 here with 3.40 left to go. Wildcats 12 and one in the conference play. Looking to extend that record as the drive reverse late and down low for Reed. Pates here near side, wing triple, she hits it. And it is now the Wildcats with the basketball. Nutley will have it on that far side of wing. She'll spin, kicks here near side, three ball is up from Folkima is no good. And possession comes down now here for St. Francis as it is Gizzy who will have it here on this near side of wing. Hands off, now here into the hands of Fordyce. 2.45 left to go. It's a nine point lead here for the Wildcats. They get it off to Pate. With it here on this near side, guarded by Parker. Off to Gizzy. Now with it at the top of the key. Out to Pate. And an offensive foul is called on the Cougars. Mantilla will pick up the foul. That'll be her first. And Carly Cooperson. We'll come back on for St. Francis as she replaces Emily Parents. And Five team fouls on St. Francis, and so we'll get an inbound here for the Wildcats. As they'll get it in here to Frazier. Having a night here so far for Indiana Wesleyan, 20 points on it. She'll dish it off and get it back now at the top of the key. Frazier going to take it to that far side. It's a nine point lead here for the Wildcats. Take here, back in the corner, now up top. They'll hand it off on that far side. Pass outside, Fulcuma will launch a three again. Couldn't get it to fall. And the Wildcats able to maintain possession with the offensive board. And a timeout is called by Indiana Wesley. And so we'll step away. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. Two oh five left to go here in our fourth quarter of action. It's an inbound here for Indiana Wesleyan. As they get it in here to Nutley. Handoff will keep it with it. Looking to drive down low. She'll go off glass and gets the bucket. Four dice. Skips far side now to Gizzy. Brings it across the half court line. 150 left. Four dice up ahead now here to Cooperson. With it here on this near side. Looking to drive, kisses it out. Pate will launch a three. Couldn't get that one to fall. And board is saved in bounce here as two Wildcats ran into each other. And possession will stay here with Indiana Wesleyan. As it'll be Frazier with it here for the Wildcats ahead by 11. 120 left to go here in our fourth. 
Shot clock now down to 10. Frazier guarded by Gizzy. She'll leave it off to Nutley, who hands off on that far side. Full came of the drive. And possession will go back to St. Francis. Culberson gets it ahead. Gizzy with it. She'll spin. Hangs nicely done there. She gets the bucket. And not 100% sure what the call is on the floor. This clock is at 57. They'll reset it to 30 seconds. So there will be a 27 second difference between the, the shot clock and the game clock. And so it'll be an inbound here for the Wildcats. As now the officials having a discussion at the scores table. And I'm not 100% sure what's happening, but the officials are just running all over the floor communicating. And so they're going to reset the clock to 59.9 seconds at a timeout. It's called by Indiana Wesley, and so we'll step away. You're watching St. Francis basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network. So with that timeout called by Indiana Wesley, and that will move the basketball here into the front court. And so they'll inbound right in front of their bench as it's going to be number 24. And Claire Merrill, who will inbound for Indiana Wesleyan. She gets it into Nutley, and foul is called on Julia Mantela. And so it'll be free throws here for Jada Nutley as she'll head to the line to shoot. Nutley already four for four from the free throw line here tonight. 15 points on the night here for her. The Jupiter Crossroads League first team of last season. Uh, she hits there on the first free throw. Second one for her is up and good as well. So an 11-point lead timeout is going to be called here by St. Francis and head coach Jeremy Henney. And that's his last one. We'll step away. You're watching St. Francis Cougars basketball here on the St. Francis Cougars Network.
back here live. It'll be an inbound here for St. Francis. No timeouts remaining. Meanwhile, Indiana Wesleyan with two on the inbound here to Fordyce. She'll have it at the top of the key here for St. Francis. Still drive. Foul is going to be called. And so that'll send Taylor Fordyce to the free throw line to shoot a pair here for the Cougars. As the first free throw is hit by Fordyce, the freshman. Now with eight points on the night, second one is no good there. And possession will come down here for the Wildcats. Foul is called. And so it will be on Julia Mantilla. And so that is going to send Lily Frazier, the leading scorer here on the night for the Wildcats. All the way down the court to the free throw line to shoot a pair. Here for Indiana Wesleyan. First free throw for her is up and good. As Coulberson, turn around, jump shot. She hits it. And inbound foul is called quickly. As Coulberson will pick up the foul. And so that'll be her third. And so that's going to send number 32, Lily Frazier, to the line. As Coulberson. We'll check out with 15 points. Nicely done by Carly Coulerson off the bench here for St. Francis. And it's going to be Frazier with 21 points at the line to shoot a pair. First free throw is up and a good. Frazier extends the lead out to 10. Second one for her is up and good as well. And so an inbound here quickly to Fordyce for St. Francis. So we'll move it up ahead here. Gets a screen from Mantilla. Fordyce with it at the top of the key. She'll look to drive now here for St. Francis. She'll dish it off far side. Gizzy will launch a three. Got it. Isabella Gizzy hits the triple for St. Francis. Eight point lead here for Indiana Wesleyan. And that is going to do it here for this one. As the clock expires, and Indiana Wesleyan going to hold on to win this one, 81 to 73. So the Wildcats improve to 22 and two on the season, and 13 and one in conference play. Meanwhile, St. Francis falls to 14 and nine, and they'll even up at 500 in conference play, seven and seven. Running down the final scoring, it is Lily Frazier who finished tonight with 23 points. Jay Nutley with 17. Taylor Fokima with 14. Maddie Lawrence with 8. Jordan Reed with 7. Riley Parker with 5. Izzy Reed with 5. And Jay Dobby with 2. For St. Francis, it was Julia Mantilla, the sophomore, who led the way with 18 points. Carly Culberson with 15. Isabella Gizzi and Reagan Pate with 10 apiece. Emily Parrott and Taylor Fordyce with 8 apiece. Tima Valente with a two. Ali Madden with two here for St. Francis. And so the Cougars shoot 27 of 60 from the field, 9 of 25 from beyond the arc. Meanwhile, it was Indiana Wesleyan, 25 of 55 and 8 of 23 from beyond the arc. 23 of 27 from the free throw line for Indiana Wesley and 10 of 11 from the free throw line for St. Francis. Rebounding battle, it was 29 rebounds for St. Francis and 37 rebounds for Indiana Wesley. 23 team fouls for St. Francis and 20 team fouls for the Wildcats. 
And so we are getting set here for a men's contest to set to take place here in about 20 minutes from now. So we will go ahead and wait till then. You can sign on to that broadcast. But until then, saying so long here from the Hutzel Athletic Center.